I'd like her to be remembered that she was an ordinary girl and that, you know, she did some good. But she only did good because there was people around her that, you know, helped her. Like the help her were good, the minister was good. You know, there's organisations out there that are all fighting for this thing. And at the end of the day, Laura's life will have been worthwhile if we can get the vaccine up and the numbers and the vaccine up. Will we give the last word to Laura? No, uh, better girl. I think it might be quite nice. I think it might not be because Laura, if you, did, if you didn't know, she was awarded the uh, Clare Person of the Year Award on March the 2nd. And uh, she passed away on the 20th of March. And uh, the documentary, as, you, as we've been talking about, shows, just shows this very powerful acceptance speech at the awards. And she was determined, as you'll see, to get the message out about the vaccine, but also to talk with great love and affection and dignity about her, her family. So, as I say, we'll finish our conversation. In fact, she'll finish our conversation. OK, here's Laura. Mom and Dad, I don't know what I'd do without you. I will never be able to find the words to thank you for the support, love and kindness. Not only over the last two years, but over the last 26 years. To my brothers, Colin, Fergal and Kevin. Thank you for not only being the best brothers, but for being my best friend. The HPV vaccine can and will save lives. Save people from being in my position. So if I have to scream and shout about it to the day I die, I will continue to do that. We love you, Laura. <laughs> Laura Brown.